Welcome back as Stalker 2 received a major update a week ago in the form of patch 1.2. This patch includes over 1700 fixes. Yes, you heard it right. It also includes some performance improvements. This patch was followed by a minor patch 1.2.1. In this video, I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. This game is still very heavy on the CPU, especially in the populated settlement areas. I'll be highlighting the 1% low FPS. We'll also show you how to install Nukem 9's DLSS G2 FSR3 mod to enable DLSS upscaler in conjunction with FSR 3.1 frame generation. Now you must be wondering why I'm planning to use this mod considering this game already supports FSR 3.1. The upscaler is decoupled from FSR frame generation. The reason is NVIDIA Reflex. NVIDIA itself has confirmed this that Reflex is not compatible with FSR frame generation. But if you use Nukem Nice mod, yes, Reflex will work with FSR frame generation. And I have already tested it. Mod's FSR frame generation latency is better than that of official FSR frame generation. The game comes with an older version of DLSS Subscaler 3.7. I'll manually update it to the latest version 310.2.1. By default, DLSS auto exposure setting is disabled. So I'll use OptiScaler mod to enable it. This setting helps in reducing the ghosting produced around the objects in the environment. Before jumping into the gameplay, I would like to thank KeyMailer and Xbox for providing me with a free monthly subscription of PC Game Pass. This subscription gives us access to hundreds of games. We can play these games for as long as we want until our subscription expires. Even EA Play membership is included with PC Game Pass subscription. Games from first party Microsoft Studio and even third party studios are included with this subscription. In India, Microsoft Store even supports UPI mode of payment. First, I'll run the game without any mod, show you the base performance. I'll be using DLSS debug overlay to verify the details of the upscaler like its version and model preset. In order to activate DLSS post transformer model, we need to set the model preset to K. I'll enable DLSS debug overlay using the registry code provided by Emus. Just copy these lines. Create a new text file anyway on your PC and name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select right click open with notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file. Click on save. Close. And run this registry file. This will enable the DLSS deeper overlay. If you want to disable it, just replace the number 4 here with 0 click on file click on save close and run this registry file i'll revert the change as i want to enable the dlss debug overlay open okay launch the game in game graphics settings first i'll run the game with the low preset eliminate any gpu bottleneck motion plus 10 set to nil Upscale is set to DLSS using its quality preset. FSR 3.1 frame generation disabled. Everything set to low. Apply the settings. Display settings. Full HD resolution. VSync disabled. I have enabled VSync from NVIDIA control panel. No FPS cap applied. NVIDIA reflex on. That's it. Standing at the entrance of Celesia. It's a populated settlement. I'll just start RTSS benchmarking mode. Oh my god, look at the performance here. FPS is close to 40. This is so disappointing. We are not hitting the GP bottleneck. GP load is close to 85%. So CPU performance seems to be the limiting factor. It seems the new update has made the game more demanding on the CPU. The update does include improvements to a life the game's artificial intelligence vram usage is close to 6 gb very disappointing performance unreal engine 5 for you okay i'll just increase the settings to medium apply back to the game roughly the same gpu load 85% FPS drop to around 40 not a big drop in performance so better to just run the game at medium preset instead of low on RTX 2070 Super GPU 
Now I'll test the game in the open world. Area loaded up. Yeah, here FPS is within a range of 50 to 60. Check out the DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner. Model PC to use this E. Auto exposure setting is off. Base resolution 720p upscale to full HD resolution. Using in combat. It's a bit dark in here. Almost hitting the GP bottle and finally. Okay, now I'll install Nukem Nice mod. I'll be using build 0.122 universal version of the mod. This mod is only compatible with RTX GPUs. You can download it for free from Nexus mods. Need to have a free Nexus mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on manual download under universal version, then click on slow download. Download the latest nightly build of OptiScaler from its GitHub page. I'll give its link in the description. Click on the .7c link here under asset section. First, I'll install OptiScaler mod. Open the mods archive file. Copy the highlighted files, four of them. Need to paste them in the game's install directory. Open Xbox PC app, click on my library, select the game, click on the three dots here, then click on manage here, click on files, click on browse. Your game size is around 143 GB. Open the game's install folder, open content folder, open stalker 2 folder, open binaries folder, open bin GTK folder, paste the files here. Replace. Change the name of nvngx.tll file to txgi.tll. Open optiscaler.ini file. You just need to set fg type to new gums. This will activate new gum nice mode. Click on file, click on save, close. Now I'll install new gum nice mode. Open its archive file. Open dll underscore version folder. Just copy this DLL file, DLSS G2FSR 3 AMD is better. Need to paste it in the same directory where we paste it, OptiScaler mod files. Right here. Now I'll manually update DLSS Subscaler. Download its latest version from Tech Power of website. At the time of recording this video, it's 310.2.1. Click on download here. Click on any of these servers, download will start. Open the Upscaler's archive file, copy this DLL file. Open the game's install directory. I'll show you where to paste it. Content folder, engine folder, plugins folder, marketplace, TLSS, binaries, third party, Win64. Check the version of the existing upscaler 3.7.2. Replace it with the latest version. Check the version now. Highlight the file 310.2.1. Now make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting is enabled on your PC. Right click on the desktop, click on display settings, then click on graphics. Click on advanced graphics settings. Enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting from here. If your monitor supports variable refresh rate, enable it as well. I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage 3D settings here. Click on program settings. From this drop down bar, select stalker 2. Scroll down to the end. Enable VSync from here. NVIDIA Control Panel VSync combined with in-game Reflex will cap the FPS at a value slightly lower than our display's max refresh rate value. For example, if your display supports up to 144Hz refresh rate, FPS will be capped at 138. My display supports up to 240Hz refresh rate, so FPS will be capped at 225. This produces a very smooth looking animation with low latency. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on Setup G-Sync here and enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model. Apply the changes. I'll also enable G-Sync indicator. This is optional. Click on Display here. Check this setting G-Sync compatible indicator. We are ready to run the game. Using the medium preset, motion plus 10 set to nil, upscaler DLSS using its quality preset. Your DLSS frame generation setting got unlocked. I have enabled it. FSR 3.1 off. Open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. This is the upscaler which is selected DLSS version 310.2.1. Newcom 9 mod is being used. Current status on. 
in the DLSS debug overlay you can see auto exposure setting is off so just check this setting here auto exposure yeah it's status chain save INI close standing at the entrance of Celesia yeah here FPS is close to 70 now this is with frame generation without it FPS was close to 40 the controls are so responsive close to native mods latency is better than that of the official implementation if you own this game and have an RTX 20 or 30 series GPU I would highly recommend using Nukem 9's mod in this game instead of the official FSR frame generation implementation model preset used is K version of the upscaler 310.2.1 Power lines are not looking pixelated even during motion. The game's HUD elements are not flickering but the DLSS debug overlay is flickering. As expected, it's not a part of the game's interface. You can disable it after verifying the details of the upscaler. I'll test the game in the daytime with much better visibility. I'll disable DLSS debug overlay first. Just edit the registry file that we created earlier. Replace number 4 with 0 click on file click on save close run this registry file yes okay that's it jump into the game area load up here the fps is within a range of 90 to 100 fsr frame generation produces some flickering around our shadow during motion it's up to amd to fix this issue here the frame pacing graph is not a flat line it's due to the recent changes in streamline framework it should not affect the performance and just kill everyone here looking for gloomy objective enter this dilapidated building turn on my flashlight it's so dark 80 to 90 fps with frame generation on this is really very disappointing but Nukem 9's mod does a good job of improving the game's performance while keeping the latency in check unlike the official FSR 3.1 frame generation implementation <laughs> dead so that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day